today, we're taking a deep dive into the Huawei CPE Max 5, also sold under Zoe and Brovi brand. They are same device, which is a top tier 5G router designed for high reliability and ultra low latency. Huawei is known for its strong antenna performance and stable connectivity, but how does this device compare to the competition? Can it deliver both speed and stability, or does it fall behind in peak performance? In this video, we'll unbox the unit, explore its admin settings, analyze real-world signal performance, and run in-depth speed and latency tests to see how it stacks up against alternatives like ZTE's latest 5G routers. Now let's take a look at what comes inside the box. First, we have the main unit, which has a mid-sized design and weighs approximately one kilogram. Moving on to the mounting accessories, the package includes options for window mounting, pole mounting, and wall mounting, providing flexibility for different installation setups. Next, we have the power over ethernet PoE injector. One important thing to note, this is not a standard PoE injector, meaning you must use this specific unit with the router. Standard PoE switches won't be compatible. A nice feature is that the PoE injector includes a reset switch. So if you ever need to reset the unit, you won't have to physically access the router, which is especially useful if it's mounted on a rooftop or an inconvenient location. And last but not least, we have 10 meter ethernet cable. Now let's dive into the admin settings of the Huawei CPE Max 5. This router offers a comprehensive set of configuration options, giving users full control over connectivity and security. The main dashboard provides a clear overview of signal strength, transfer speeds, and connection status at a glance. Moving into internet connection settings, we have APN configurations and options to manually adjust mobile network settings. The router supports 5G mode selection with options for standalone SA, non-standalone NSA, and automatic switching. Next up, we have the Wi-Fi settings. Interestingly, this unit supports Wi-Fi based configuration, meaning you can temporarily enable Wi-Fi just for setup purposes. The device also includes SMS messaging, system statistics, and parental controls, allowing you to set access restrictions for connected devices. Just more Wi-Fi settings. The firmware update section supports OTA, over-the-air updates, as well as manual local updates. This section includes an option to switch between bridge mode and routing mode. Additionally, users can configure advanced settings for fine-tuning connectivity based on specific network requirements. There's built-in VPN support and policy-based routing, along with firewall settings that include MAC address filtering, IP filtering, virtual server configurations, and application-specific settings. Users can also configure DMZ, ACL filtering, and domain filtering for additional security. The system settings section provides key network details, including signal strength values, currently used bands, and firmware version information, giving users a clear overview of the device's operational state. Next, we have the standard system settings, including reset, reboot, and diagnostic tools. Pretty straightforward, but essential for maintenance and troubleshooting. Developer options allow you to enable extended logging, monitor debugging functions, and fine-tune performance parameters, making it one of the most versatile admin panels we've seen in a consumer-grade 5G router. It also features detailed band locking, allowing users to manually lock specific frequency bands or select preferred bands for LTE and 5G. Unlike ZTE devices that require a separate script for cell locking, 
This feature is built directly into the admin panel, making configuration much more convenient. Here's the test setup. The distance to the base station is around 1.5 kilometers, but there's a thick forest between the router and the tower. Let's see how this setup impacts signal strength and overall performance. Huawei has a strong reputation for high quality antennas, and the CPE Max 5 continues that tradition. On higher frequency bands, the signal to noise ratio, SNR, reaches around 30 decibels, while RSRP and RSRQ values remain exceptionally strong, a clear sign of top tier internal antenna design. When compared to ZTE devices, the CPE Max 5 sometimes outperforms models like the MC889 A Pro, delivering superior reception in certain conditions. One interesting distinction is that Huawei's SNR scale goes up to 34 decibels, whereas ZTE maxes out at 30 decibels. This means Huawei may have a slight advantage in signal reporting accuracy potentially giving a more detailed representation of network quality. Overall, these results confirm that Huawei continues to lead in antenna performance, ensuring strong connectivity even in demanding environments. When it comes to speed tests, Huawei delivers excellent performance. However, the speeds aren't quite as high as one might expect based on the strong signal values. While the device maintains great connectivity, real-world throughput can vary depending on network conditions and frequency usage. Where Huawei truly excels is in latency. The CPE Max 5 consistently delivers sub-20 millisecond latency to the test server, ensuring smooth performance for gaming, video calls, and real-time applications. But before jumping to conclusion, it's important to remember that speed tests only reflect a single set of mobile frequencies. In our upcoming video, we'll take a deeper dive into speed variations across different bands and frequencies, analyzing how Huawei compares to the competition under various real-world conditions. Stay tuned for a detailed breakdown. To wrap things up, the Huawei CPE Max 5 delivers excellent reliability and consistently low latency, making it a solid choice for users who prioritize stability and minimal packet loss. However, when it comes to peak speeds, Huawei lags slightly behind what might be expected based on its strong signal values. So, if low latency and a stable connection are your top priorities, this router is an excellent option. But if you're looking for maximum speed performance, ZTE devices may be the better choice. We'll be diving deeper into real-world performance and network optimizations in upcoming videos. Make sure to subscribe 5G Benchmark so you don't miss the latest 5G router reviews, speed tests, and expert insights. See you in the next one.